Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my Italian one take property tours. Good afternoon. How are we all today? Right. I've got something really, well, I think really very special. So I just want to get cracking on with this because the sun's out and there's a good possibility that uh, there's some clouds coming and I want to try to get the outside done in the sunshine. So what have we got? We've got uh, Casa Padronale, 17th century, rebuilt in 1860, and then rebuilt again. Isn't that a beautiful house? Now, Casa Padronale means that basically the owner of this house originally would have been slightly wealthier than other people. What can we say about that? Um, we can say he would have been slightly wealthier than other people. And I just <laughs> want to show you this swimming pool. Now, today I'm in Umbria. Umbria. Look at that pool. 12 by 6 with a Roman end. And a Roman end means that you've got some steps which you can just walk in. I just love that. Now, today is the 13th of October and it is 18 degrees and I am in a, I'm in a t-shirt. Now, look at that as a pool surround. Yeah, I think that's jolly nice myself. And I'm just going to come to the back of the pool and you see the clouds coming in now and show you the house. That is absolutely charming. <laughs> There's a light over there that's giving up. What a peculiar sound. Now, can you hear the pool pump? Yeah, there it is. Now, I'm going to pull up here when I go through these beautiful uh, wrought iron gates. I'm going to get a bit of flare here, but I'm going to try to get out of the flare because I just want to show you how beautiful this house is. Here we go. I mean, look at that. That is just absolutely gorgeous with beautiful wisteria. That is just fantastic. Now they've got an abundance of water. And you can tell that because the grass is all lush and green. It's a beautifully positioned house. Oh, let's get in and just gonna pop over. You've got a barbecue and a lovely arch in there and an area to stack, <laughs> stack your cans. <laughs> Put your cans and stack your wood. Let's pull round to the back down here. And I think we're going to go back into the back of the house. But let me tell you the land first of all. Seven hectares in total. This field, which is below, and the hill, which is going up over the side. Um, lots of lovely olives. And... Uh, Beautifully secluded, beautifully secluded. Really gorgeous. Right, I'm gonna get, no, am I gonna get inside? Yes, I'm gonna get inside. Let's, let's just rummage around inside here. So here we go. Okay, let's move into the house. Right, we've come in one door and have you, if you've seen some of my videos, you'll realise that on these ground floors, which used to be stables there, there will be lots of entrances. And this is now into the dining room. And uh, you can see some absolutely exquisite terracotta tiles and wooden beams and handmade nails. Just really. Really lovely. Let's move through here. The doors are superb in this house. 
Can you see that? These are these Italian exposed locks and you would have had the keys not there, but you would have had a big key which would have turned this ratchet here like that and then swung that into place. Really super. Right, from the dining room we move into the kitchen and it's a very shaker style. Got some very nice tin lamps, which I like. Can you see those? A freestanding, looks like an eight burner cooker. Eight burner hob with two ovens. It's actually called New World. Huh. Is it a brave new world, we want to know? I'm going to pull back so you get an idea on the back of the kitchen. I'm sorry if that light's a bit flickery there on the right hand side. Now, this house has good internet and I'm going down. I'm going to show you the colour of the lights going to be a bit different here because there's strip lights in here. But you've got a really lovely big utility room. And then further down here, I just opened those. Oh, just, and then in here. You've got a modern bathroom with, what can I see there, a shower, which is just there, and uh, a wet room, and a toilet, a mirror, good afternoon, and a sink. Right. Ah, this is quite cute. It's quite a small door. And if you go through here, and you just push through. You come into reception number one. And it's a really wonderful, cosy living room with well, what they've done here is that they've painted and I think this is a really good idea. What they've done is that they've painted the beams and the terracotta tiles white because the ceiling height in this room is quite small. And I do think that's a good idea because it actually throws some light up. Now you've got a nice working fireplace. And if I pull over and then just come round here, you can get an idea of where we've been so far. So to the left, which is over there, which is the room, the door we came in through, which is here, which is the dining room, kitchen on the other side, utility space behind this wall, toilet on there and another door leading out. And I expect if you're in the swimming pool and you need to spend a penny, you will come through that door and into that bathroom there. Maybe this is the staircase I should have come through. Actually, I'm just going to pull outside so you can get an idea coming on this door. And look at those fantastic doors there. There's some really lovely architectural features on this house. Right, let's pop back inside here. Original stone stairs, stones going up. Aren't they gorgeous? Yep. And let's just pop to the top. Have a look at this. Now, see that there? 1860. And that, I don't know if I can get the gimbal in. Oh, look. Oh, I can. Oh, there's a light. I don't need it. That is the pizza oven. Pretty outstanding. But if I pull back here and I come round, I mean, look at that for a picture perfect window looking over the rolling hills of Umbria. Just lovely. Really nice stonework. 
beautiful original flooring. Do you see that? I know I've done this a thousand times, but that's wear and tear over the centuries. Okay, wait for it. I'm going to pull up. This is the main reception room. And isn't that absolutely beautiful? Let me just get over here. Now, they've cut away one of the floors. So you've got this double height looking up into this beautiful roof line. Lovely terracotta flooring, uh, ceiling tiles. That is fabulous. Fabulous. Now, let's pop in here. Again, if I come into here, you've got original terracotta flooring coming down. Coming across here, you see how that's laid? That's lovely. And then if you lift up here, you've got a beautiful bedroom. Isn't that chic? Lovely nooks. Two windows, one facing north, one facing west. Beautiful doors. Again, all original. Back into the uh, this phenomenal reception room. You want to know the price now, don't you? Well, it's got a tennis court. It's got a 12 by 6 swimming pool. It has five bedrooms and three bathrooms and an extra bathroom downstairs, making it all a cloak room, making it four bathrooms. Now, that's one bedroom, a uh, bathroom. <laughs> Get my bedroom bathrooms, not right today. I'm going to come down here. I just want to show you that door. Oh, don't you love that? Okay. Oh. Just gorgeous. Right. This house is coming to the market at 1.2. Nine five million euros. And that original flooring is worth that. <laughs> That's just gorgeous. 1.295 million euros. Isn't that a lovely bet? God, you'd be so happy. You uh, came and stayed here. Really, it's utterly charming. And I do like the colour which they've used here to replicate a skirting board. That's just really lovely. Okay, I believe this is the principal bedroom because they have a bathroom en suite. I'll just close that. The good boy should. And you can see that it has a toilet, a bidet, a bath, and a sink. And then here, looking out of the window, and the camera will adjust. I know, I need to say it there. You're looking out over your swimming pool. 
and looking up towards Monte Santa Maria Tipperina. I think I, at the beginning of this uh, video I forgot to add the word Monte actually. Right. So what have we seen so far? We've seen the dining room, the kitchen, the downstairs reception room, two bedrooms, one bathroom, and this just, I just love it. Reception, and here's a little plaque. Next time it was restored, and that says 1862. 1862. Right, let's pop up to the other bedrooms and see what they have to offer. Look at this. I'm just loving that flooring. That's just fantastic. Huh, what's in there? Oh. Okay. All right, so in there you've got storage and the gas boiler. What's that? Closet with sheets in. Now to get into this open balcony area, I had to just stoop then. Right, look at that. Isn't that lovely? A beautiful balcony. This is just kids' heaven. Just gorgeous. I like that chair. I like these lamps, actually. Look at this. All right. This is the attic. Well, I've looked at the plans of this property, and uh, uh, these are, are actually registered as bedrooms, which is all jolly good. No, oh, this is just kids' heaven, honestly. It's just, just the most wonderful place. Right. A lovely woodwork, terracotta flooring. Look at that beam. Terracotta tiling. Stunning. Stunning. Love it. Oozing with style. You can just see this as like filled up with, you know, happy people. People downstairs and they're talking or adults by the fire, children running around and being happy. Lovely swimming pool. Now we're going to get out and I'm going to show you the tennis court as well. Great holiday home, this. Um, they do rent it and it rents incredibly well. So if you're looking for potentially a investment property, that's the original sink. You see, if I lift that up, there'll be a hole behind there probably. There, there you go. See that? Don't drop the glass. Right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. As I said, it's got just a really nice feel about it. You know, it's not too big, not too small. I gotta go out here. Right, the weather's changed. Clouds have come in. I've been waiting a couple of days to shoot this video. Um, came this morning, I was running around. Uh, couldn't get here, got stuck by 
in front of a tractor who was basically putting manure down on his uh, on his olive grove. And uh, yeah, I got stuck for about 20 minutes. What's in there? What's in there? All right. Ooh. Okay, canteens. Olive oil, which I can see in this corner here. Uh, yeah. And uh, maybe I should turn the light on there. Dusty car. Garage. Kit. But you could, subject to planning, potentially turn this into a guest house if you needed the extra space. Super tractor. That's a four wheel drive. It's got you have fun on that, wouldn't you? And then what I haven't shown you, which is, can I get down to there? I mean, look at the countryside. Just charming. Absolutely charming. I'm just gonna get in here and show you here. Now these are original pigsties. See that? This is the dividing wall between the two. And I can see uh, it's got uh, an autoclave, or which is the uh, expansion tank for the water. All the way up over the top of this hill. Seven hectares of land. Really fantastic. Okay. Now, Marcello, who's a wonderful chap and looks after this house, um, opened up for me. That's very kind. And then here, you've got a full-size tennis court with a brand new surface. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now, one of my favorite film, films of all time is uh, Mr. Hulu's Holiday by Jack Tatty. And if you haven't seen that, I urge you to go and buy it. Brand new, brand new. Absolutely fantastic. I think I've said too many fantastics today. But there you have it. Okay. It's quite nice doing a video where it's just basically not blue sky. I mean, this is just reality, isn't it? I mean, this is what it's like. Beautiful trees. Right, here we are, we're back to where we started. There's Marcello down there. Everybody needs a Marcello, that's for sure. He's just a super chap. Right. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. My name is Nick Ferrand and these are my one take Italian property tours. I hope you enjoyed that. Look at that, great sky. Oh, a few clouds. You actually, doesn't really matter. If you'd be so kind and subscribe to this video and uh, push those buttons, push, 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 pull, and that would be uh, greatly appreciated. And I'm just gonna. I just love that. Really do. Beautiful gates. Right. Thank you. Thanks very much. Guest house. Beautiful trees. Irrigation. Beautiful garden, super duper house. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much. Bye bye.